Thank you, sir. How are you? Good? This is a, it's nice strange. to see you, too. Good to see you, brother. How are you? Good? Yeah, you look good. You look very well. Yes. We're very excited to be here in Strasbourg in France. Uh, we're meeting Hassam, who we met in 2016 in June. He was in Greece at the time in a refugee camp. My grandfather was Greek, and when the Nazis came into Athens, he fled Greece, and he went on a boat across the Aegean, ended up in Istanbul, and then as a refugee ended up in Damascus. We have to remember that only two generations ago, Europeans were going the other way, you know, and, and people in Damascus were helping people like my grandfather. I feel like I'm a little lucky to come to here because it's a small city and it's like very nice and there is a lot of university and a lot of opportunities. Hassam's integrated in various ways. We saw him kind of involve himself in the communities. It's a kind of cooking festival, uh, it's a, particularly for refugee chefs and cooks and kind of cooking their own produce um, and being able to sell that on the market. And he's come an extremely long way and it sounds like we made this up, but we didn't. But today, the day that we are here, he just uh, found out that he's been accepted into the University of Strasbourg. <laughs> <laughs> It was really satisfying to see someone who suddenly had a future and had a sense of place. And whether, you know, Strasbourg, whether France is his hometown for the rest of his life, who knows, but he really felt like he had connected here. Now he has a foundation that he can begin to build from. But one thing that struck me is how similar he was to me and how similar he was to some of my closest friends from university. You know, this is a young guy who's smart and thoughtful and and we kind of saw it in his eyes. He was someone who finally knew that there was a path for him. And I know that sounds kind of cheesy in its own way, but it's very true. He, he suddenly knew where he was going to be based. He knew where he was going to be. 